Hey Bakersfield, I'm Chris. And I'm DK. And we're the explorers with Board, Board in Bakersfield. Bakersfield. Today we came down here to the Buena Vista Museum of Natural History and Science. I've never been here and I noticed the building is bright yellow, blue and green. You can't miss it. And there's lots of natural history here, fossils. It's a great place for kids and a lot to learn. Yeah, it's right off Chester and I used to come here when I was in grade school for field trips, but it's been a very long time. Oh, so wow. I'm really excited to see what kind of stuff that they've changed. Well, let's go check it out. Let's go check it out. So we're here in the Asian African animal room and there's just a lot of animals here and all of them except for the elephant are real taxidermied uh, animals. The elephant's actually cast because the real one would be much bigger. This is such a cool room, Chris. I feel like I'm in the safari. Yeah, it's, a, it's, it's great. It's a lot to process. <laughs> um, but one thing I did pick up uh, was that this elephant is left-handed and you can tell because of the tusk. The left one is shorter than the right one, which means they use that left one a lot more. But, but I mean, it's just a lot here. We can talk about it all day, but I think we should move on to the next area and check it out. I agree. Have you seen the size of this thing? I mean, it's huge. How many of me do you think that could eat at one time? Well, I think the Megalodon can fit six grown men in its mouth. That's crazy. It reminds me of Jaws, to be honest. Well, we should check out some other areas. Oh, absolutely. So we're on the bottom floor of the museum now, where it's called the Oak Zone, and it's interactive, and there's lots for kids to do and learn. Chris, what are you doing? Shh, DK, I'm, I'm searching for fossils and bones, and look at this. I found one. And so now that I'm an official archaeologist, we can move on to the next area. Down here in the ozone, there's plenty of things to do with kids. You can come down here, play with toys, and learn about all sorts of things. There's also an astronomy section, and DK, what are you doing? I'm going to space. No, DK, this is where you learn about space. I thought I'd use my imagination and have some fun. All right, well, fair enough. How about we go upstairs and check out what's up there? All right. Museum where there's um, dinosaur fossils and Native American history and also some geological um, models as well or information. Chris? Chris, where are you going? I'm exploring. Well, let's follow him. Right here behind me is a really cool exhibit. It's a Yokitz village reconstruction. Kind of gives you a little bit of a glimpse back into what it was like in Native American lifestyle. And there is arrowheads behind us as well and how the Native Americans live gives us a glimpse into their lifestyle. Well, all of this is, is amazing and, and there's so much more to look at when you come down. There's actually one more exhibit I wanted to check out on the first floor that I saw. It looks really cool. Awesome, let's go. So behind us here is the Ice Sandbox. It's one of the exhibits that I was most excited about. I've always wanted to try one of these. It's one of the newer things here. So I'm, I'm dying to try it out. Well, and I think it's really cool how technology has evolved and made it so interactive for all ages to get involved. Oh yeah, and I'm definitely excited to go ahead and go play this. So. Well, let's do it, let's Chris. Do it. That's going to be it for DK and I here at the Buena Vista Museum of Natural History and Science, but boy was it a blast. I, can't, I didn't realize that it was so big. There was so much to do. There was interactive displays. It's great for kids and adults. Right, and I found a bone, so now I'm a certified archaeologist. And I'm an astronaut. All right, well, thanks for joining us, and until next time, see you later. See you later.